Hi, I'm Pete Licata, and I'm here to talk coffee in three minutes or less. Today, I'm gonna to talk about extraction yield. Extraction yield is a calculation which represents the amount of dry coffee which was extracted into the liquid. It is calculated as a percentage, which is usually expected to be between 18 to 22 uh, percent, and uses the TDS percentage as a part of the equation. E extraction percentage is either calculated at, with an app, which accounts for small factors such as moisture and liquid retained in the coffee grounds, or manually as a rather simple equation. While the former is much more accurate, and the accounted for variables are not tracked by most baristas, so honestly, the simple equation works just fine for most. To calculate it yourself, just multiply your TDS percentage by the weight of the brewed coffee in grams, then divide that number by the original dry dose weight in grams. To give a simple understanding of how we ex impact extraction yield, a finer average grind tends to result in a higher extraction. An inconsistent or coarser grind tends to make a lower extraction yield. Uh, when we're looking at extraction, it is important to understand how easily it can change. A small miscalculation or change in the brewing method can drop the extraction by a whole percent, uh, which should taste very different. Just ask any Brewer's Cup competitor. Uh, so here we have a similar problem to the TDS percentage, which is that there is no accounting for specific compounds in the coffee, and thus a limited insight into its flavor. That said, by having both the TDS and extraction yield in an appropriate range, you are much more likely to have a tasty brew. At the same time, more is not always more when it comes to extraction yield. While some are ever seeking the highest extraction possible, uh, I find it to be more beneficial to look at your balancing point. To help explain this, as you brew coffee, the TDS percentage starts high and falls throughout the extraction as it becomes more and more diluted. On the other hand, your extraction percentage starts low and increases as more is pulled out of the coffee. Eventually you'll get diminishing returns on extraction and sometimes even get a drop due to excess dilution. But the balancing point is when you get enough strength or TDS in conjunction with enough extraction percentage. Uh, and personally, I find this to be between 1.35 to 1.45% with 19.5 to 20.5 extraction percentage. Uh, this of course is not a rule and may also depend on your personal preference. So in summary, we're getting a better understanding of the quality of an extraction we got if we got enough out of that coffee and if we're in a likely ideal range for the brew. Uh, but don't forget your palate because it's still the best way to tell if your ideal extraction has an ideal flavor. This has been Three Minutes of Coffee. I'm Pete Licata. Thanks for joining me.